Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me video. This is just going to be a pretty simple, basic holiday look. I'm also going to be showing you what I'm going to do with my hair as well as the outfit. I thought to shake things up a little, we would start off with the outfit and kind of a look at what we're going for and then get started on the makeup. Okay, so here's kind of the overall look that we're going for. I would have rather worn boots with this outfit, like little black booties, but I realized I don't, oops, sorry, my bear. It's knocked over. I realize I don't actually own any, so I'm just wearing Toms with it, but the star of the show is definitely my blouse, and the blouse today is from Gwynnie B, and if you do not already know, Gwynnie B is an online plus-size clothing rental service where essentially you can get out items, wear them once, wear them however many times that you want, and then send them back. And they have different plans where you can have out multiple items of clothing every single month, but at the baseline, you can just have one item of clothing. You can keep it as long as you want, and the minute that you send it back, you get a new piece in. It's the coolest way to try out plus-size clothing and not commit. That is the top that I'm wearing. By the way, if you want to try out Winnie B, I will have a really special offer code for you down below for a free 30-day trial. I absolutely love the service, and again, it just is a really cool way to try out new brands, try out new styles maybe you would have never tried out before. For even less money than it would cost to buy one new piece of clothing every single month, you kind of get limitless options with Winnie B because again, you can send things back and get new things in as soon as they are received. So that is where this top is from. It's really cute. It is just kind of like a sort of silk-ish navy top. It kind of has a teal tone to it, but it's still on the darker side. I wound up tucking that into a black skirt because of the black tie up here. I just thought it went really well with that. On bottom, I'm wearing maroon colored leggings, which I think just adds a bit more into the jewel tone. Like I think that it complements this teal blouse really, really well. I moved my chair over a little bit, but on bottom, I am just wearing a pair of sparkly black toms. And again, I think that this would look really pretty with like higher cut booties. I just didn't have any and I wanted this to have more of a casual feel. So that is a little look at my outfit. Here is what the makeup today will look like. Really simple, but really pretty. So let's get into it. Okay, so my skin is prepped and moisturized and I only did it to half of my face. I was gonna do it all over and let it sit for a bit, but then when I put it on, I was like, wow, this is doing so much. I really wanted to show you guys on camera. On this side of my face, I think it's pretty obvious. I have on the Etude House Beauty Shot um, Face Blur. And I recently got my paws on some Asian beauty products and I'm obsessed with this. This is the first time I'm using it, but I'm also gonna take a little bit more, obviously, and just do the other side of my face. And, ooh, I got too much. But as you can see, it's just like a really creamy base. I kind of thought it would just prep the skin and maybe smooth it out a little bit, but it almost has like a slight tint. And this just seems like it would be so good as either like a primer or just something to wear on like minimal makeup days. My skin has been really bad lately. Um, I started using a facial brush somewhat recently and it's just brought a lot of things that were sitting beneath the surface forward. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then we'll get started on foundation. Today's foundation is actually not new but it is the Maybelline Dewy Plus Smooth um, Fit Me Foundation and I haven't used this in a while. I need a bit more full coverage than I would normally go for just because my skin is so bad right now. It's a bit more yellowy than I remember it being which doesn't surprise me. It was probably a little bit more tan this summer. Even though I don't try to tan with the sun, it happens inevitably. I'm gonna take this dampened Tarte foundation brush, which again, I have not used in a while, and I'm just going to blend the foundation in with this. This foundation, or this brush rather, does sheer out the foundation a bit, so I'll probably go in with a second layer. But I just feel like my skin is so lackluster right now and just so not nice that it needs a little bit of extra moisturizer and uh, just, you know, more hydration in there, so that's why I'm using the damp brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to conceal. I'm gonna go under the eyes and on top of the lid with a brightening concealer from Maybelline. These are gonna be kind of standard products. I never really sway too much away from my concealers. I find that I tend to crease a lot, which is kind of weird, but I just do. So I'm gonna go on top of that with the Rimmel Age Rewind, wait. No, this is the Rimmel Match Perfection. I'm gonna go real heavy with that upper lip highlight because it's that zit right there. Ugh. Like side of the nose zits or like lip zits are my least favorite. I mean, I don't really love any of them, but if I had my pick, it would never ever be a lip zit. Have you guys ever had one where it's like you get it on your lip line and then it's impossible to apply a lip liner? I'm glad this one's a little bit higher up. Okay. We need to stop talking about my pimples. I'm actually gonna try something different with setting my under eye concealer. A lot of people use dry Real Technique sponges, so I have two here. Um, when I replaced my one this time, I just got a double pack so I could see how I like this. And people will do their translucent powder 
with a sponge, like with a dry sponge. So I really want to see if I like it. I'm really sorry, by the way, I couldn't find my nude bra. Um, and my black one just didn't sit right under this. I don't have like a plain black bra. All my black or darker ones um, have like some sort of lace or something and the shirt just showed it right through. Okay, so I totally thought I was recording. Um, I'm taking the translucent powder on my Real Technique sponge and so far I have to say, I don't really love this. Like, I think it's gonna do well in my under eye area, but I let my concealer bake for a minute and I feel like my under eye area is gonna turn out white, like so white, which is fine. I just, normally I don't love the way it looks too terribly stark white, so I'll probably set the other areas of my face, um, like the nose and the forehead and stuff just with a brush. See, I don't really like pack it on, you know what I mean? Like I think that some people do and it's fine, it's just I tend to like the look of this a little bit better. All right, so my lids are primed. I'm gonna keep pretty light with the eyeshadow today. I'm gonna be using the Amazonian Clay Rainforest After Dark Palette from Tarte, never used it before. We'll start off with just this plain old matte brown and just on a fluffy brush, we'll work this into my crease. I don't know why I wasn't thinking it would be that pigmented, but it definitely, definitely is. Okay, so I know it's super messy currently, but I do have that brown down in my crease. And now I'm just going to take this gold shade. I'm gonna take the gold and lightly press that all over the eyelid. So I'm really depressed now because Scream Queens was probably my favorite show of the season. Oh, my eye is not having this today. Um, and it's over, and I really don't know how I feel about the ending. Like. I'm aware that the way that it ended, they had to open up for another season because I'm sure they're going to get renewed. But if you've seen it, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but if you've seen it, I just think it was like, I understand the entire show is kind of like jokey, kind of like serious, just a mixture of everything. But I don't know. I just really thought that the ending kind of sucked. And the person that was the Red Devil Killer, I thought it was that person the entire time. So I was just a little bit let down with that. But they have another season I'll definitely watch. Um, I'm just... I think the show is a little bit too good for such like a predictable finale. Okay, so now on a really tiny angled brush, I'm going to take this deepened purpley berry shade. This is going to go on the outer corner of my eye. Just to add a bit of definition there, but it's also something different than just regular old black. Okay, and I know it's pretty basic, but that's all I'm going to do for the eyes. I'll highlight the inner corner once my powder is kind of blended in, but for now I'm going to take a bit more translucent powder just on a fluffy shader brush, and I'm going to use this just quickly to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to use my favorite setting brush and just lightly blend out. And also, I'm not going to be putting anything on the lower lashes today, so it doesn't matter as much. The only reason I really bake my under eye is because, well, I do crease, but my major problem tends to be with, um, like, getting raccoon eyes. It doesn't matter what mascara I use on my lower lashes, whether it's waterproof or not waterproof, I always get smudges down here by the end of the day. Okay, so I have this little box full of Burberry, Burberry. <laughs> I don't know why the word is so funny to me. I have a bunch of their products in trial form. I completely forgot to use the Fresh Glow little base thing that I had in here. It's like a liquid highlight and I'm not going to use that now because I'm obviously all powdered. But I will use their Earthy Blush in Light Glow. This is supposed to be a contouring powder so I'm going to use this. Wait, this is the wrong brush. I'm going to use it on a Royal and Lang Nickel blush brush. It's nice and tapered at the end here so I think it's pretty good for contouring. It actually gives a pretty nice, like, really light contour. I would definitely recommend this for someone who is paler and they don't want something really warm or orangey. I think this adds a little bit of warmth and it definitely adds some contour to the face um, without being really super warm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't pull too terribly orange. Okay, so I'm just going to blend using this jumbo size powder brush from IT Cosmetics. It is a little bit patchy up at the top of my forehead right here, um, but it's not awful, and it might be the brush as well, or the fact that I didn't let my contour, or uh, no, translucent powder. Oh my God, I was having the world biggest brain fart um, bake quite so long, but I really, really like it. I would recommend it if you are paler and you want a kind of lighter contour. I'm gonna take it again, same brush, just under the jaw, sides of my nose, to kind of chisel that out. I'm gonna take a little bit more translucent powder, not too terribly much because my contour turned out pretty great today, but I'm just going to stamp it right underneath. We'll pretty much blend this straight away because, again, 
it really isn't messy for once. I'm actually really embarrassed, but I have yet to use this Tarte Holidays blush palette. It's the Bling It On blush palette, um, and I have not used it even one time, and it sold out completely everywhere online. So today I'm going to be using the shade Beaming. It's just a light peachy, shimmery pink, very, very dupeable. I'm just gonna pop that on the cheeks. We're not gonna go too hardcore with the blush today because red lips. Alrighty, so now we can go in with our highlight Apparently not. We can go with our highlight today. I'm gonna to use Anastasia's So Hollywood because I have yet to get enough of this. It is the most beautiful highlighter in the history of ever and I love, I don't know, it just, it's magical. It adds so much life to the skin. The Illuminator formula is just so smooth and I just feel like they add a lot of life to the skin. So actually today I think I'll use something new for my brows. Um, I got these Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencils recently and they're kind of different because they have this sort of triangular point to them. I don't really understand how to use these if we're being completely and totally honest, but I think we'll wing it. Okay, so so far I really don't feel like I'm getting as sharp of a line as I would normally like. I don't feel like I have that um, sort of control, you know what I mean? We're gonna have some dark brows today, I mean. Um, no, nah, nah. so far no, but I feel like maybe at the same time I don't really know how to use this. Slightly darker than I would really go for, and this color is called Warm Blonde. This is dark. I probably really wouldn't go back to this. Um, I understand what they're trying to go for, but I feel like no matter which way I turn this thing, I'm not getting as sharp of a line as I would want. I'm not someone who wants to go in and fill in my entire brow. I want like a very light bit of definition underneath, and um, I just don't think that this can give that to me, but I will finish off my brows with it so that they match. So I'm aware of the brow situation. Not 100% on board with it, but it is what it is. I also set them off with a bit of clear brow gel and now I'm just going to take the Rainforest After Dark palette and take the gold color one more time on a smaller more pointed brush and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner for a highlight. Now I can set off my whole face and I'm just going to use a bit of Max Fix Plus spray today. I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Oh maybe. Yeah, there we go. After I get ready and film this Get Ready With Me today, I'm going to be filming a Disney and Starbucks haul, which I know is so completely random, but I've acquired a lot from Starbucks for the holiday. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara. I'm not gonna do falsies today. This is just a little bit more of like a, not natural, but not crazy glam makeup look. I have a bunch of like holiday Disney stuff. Like I have some ornaments I wanna show and I have some Starbucks stuff. I'm trying so hard to figure out whether I should put it on my main channel or my second channel. I really love Maybelline's The Falsies Mascara. I just, I don't know. Every time that I go away from this mascara, I tend to come back to it because it does this in minimal time, and I love it. That, my children, is how you focus a camera. Today I'm going to use ColourPop's Dazed Lip Pencil. Now that lip liner was a bit more berry toned than I'm really going for today. I'm going to be using this mini Burberry lipstick and this is in the color Military Red and it's just super duper bright. I actually kind of dig like the little bit of dimension the berry liner underneath really gives this. That's pretty much it for makeup so now I think I'm going to do something with my hair. So my hair still has quite a lot of curl to it, um, but I don't know, I don't think I want the front section in my face today. So I'm gonna take it and just probably <laughs> give it a baby bit of a brushing. I've been playing around with braids for a few minutes, but I don't know if it's the way that my roots are right now. I'm not sure what it is. They're just not turning out very nice right now. So I think what I'll do is just kind of keep it simple and do a really full kind of fake bang here at the very front. So I'm gonna kind of get a feel of where my hair is going to tuck behind my ear and then secure the bobby pin over that piece, but I'm not going to tuck it in anywhere yet. I'm going to make sure I have it exactly where I want it and then pin it against the side of my head. So then I can kind of tug it around and make sure it is exactly where I want it. And then I'll just kind of press another bobby pin in there to hold it in place. Oof can't talk during this part. Um, we can just spray this down and tuck the hair where we want it. 
And that's pretty much it. If you want to see how I do these curls, you can find the full tutorial in my winter curls routine, which I didn't do again in this video just to save time, but I'll link it down below. These have been in my head for three days now, and they're still growing pretty strong. So yeah, here is what everything looks like. So that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I think that's pretty much it. I love the hair, like the makeup, love the outfit, obviously. In terms of hits or misses, I wouldn't really put down anything in this video. In fact, I really liked everything that I used except, okay, this is weird. It seems to have literally like vanished into thin air. I'm sure it knew I was about to shame it, but the hourglass eyebrow pencil, that's the only thing I don't dig in this look. Um, I don't really love the way that my eyebrows turned out today, but what can you do? Um, I wouldn't personally spend the money on it. I think that the Anastasia one is infinitely better and you have a lot more control with it. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.